tank. I'm sure the alignment is spot on though. Yeah. I don't know if I drive too fast with this thing. Well, that's the thing. Especially across the bridge. Please don't drive fast across the bridge. <laughs> okay, first spot hole. Oh, that looks good. I think I killed it. Okay, guys, well, we just hit this water hole. And uh, we got a little deep, and I knew we didn't have good splash shields, and I shouldn't have done that. Got my brother along and his son Austin, and of course Nash is here. And so we're going to open up the air box here. The engine shut off when I went through the water hole, so the filter is wet for sure. I don't think we got water past there. So I think now that we got the water out of the filter, we can just run with no filter, I hope. Oh, there's another clip here. Oh, there's another filter here, so we're good. I don't think any water got up here. Feels like there is another one. There yeah. we go. Okay, let's try starting it. We just got to pump up a tire here. Yeah, this tire uh, leaks and we put uh, slime in it, which helps a lot. But Hey there, Matt Scratch here. Well, we're trying out the uh, 99 Forester in the forest. And uh, we already hit one good mud hole and uh, managed to drown out the engine, but luckily Subaru put in two air filters, so the first air filter stopped most of the water, and as a result, we didn't hydro lock the engine. Start it right up after we removed the uh, soaking wet air filter. Okay, so we got it's really wet right now, guys, so we got another mud hole here, and uh, we'll get Nash to get out and walk past it and uh, film. No, I'm not going to just ram it. it. We already drowned it in the whole half that deep. I'm not going to rip through there. Okay, oh, someone there. emailed me. That's pretty yucky in there. Okay, we're continuing down this uh, trail here. It's way more muddy out here than I expected. So we're trying to avoid the deep, deep mud there by going down this trail. Uh, I've never been down this trail in the real bad mud, so I don't know how bad it will be. This first bit's fine. Yeah, you might need windows up. A little high speed section. It's not looking bad. That's the, the bad part there. There's a coach. Yeah, we've filmed the coach before. I think we got this, guys. We got some trail riding to the next hole, so jump in. Okay, guys, we just got some technical stuff here for the next bit while we skirt these ruts. Even the Subaru uh, bogs out pretty easy out here. I mean, we're used to a neon, so this is uh, pretty capable, but uh, 
the, our neon's a pretty solid car, and this ne isn't necessarily. We only paid three hundred dollars for it, so what can you expect? So far, it seems fairly reliable, but we do have like a weird, weird creaking noise coming from the front there. We're not sure about and stuff. Okay, now this is a bad one. I was worried about this. I don't think we can actually go through that. That's almost like a lake. The car's going to be a foot deep if we go through there. It's not that muddy though, it's got a solid base under there. Even here is shallow, Sean. It doesn't get deep till right there. I think I'm going to get out on the other side. Yeah. Got our tree sling here. Sean is gonna die. Sorry, but Sorry, Sean. Uh, it was touch and go there if it would stay running. It was fogging bad. I made sure to wear the right footwear today. We come out here and do this in our neon all the time, and it takes it. People claim Krausers are junk. Maybe it'll get better as we go. Or maybe we won't go much further. We need to turn around. I think we can turn around right here. I think it's as good a place as any. Just let go that way. 
think you can turn around. If I can keep it running, I can. It's probably the coil. Yeah, but I never got it wet. It's right on top of the engine. Almost around if we can. Sorry, guys, doing my best. I hope you're filming this, Nash. I am. Okay. And you're not getting out again, we're just going for it to get out of this trail before this thing dies. You better roll your window up. Uh, I can't go through it fast, Sean. Well, I wouldn't go through it slow. No? No. Yeah, good call. I sure went faster. Gotta find a tree again. I don't know, I'm not in the, that impressed with this Subaruing so far. It'll be kind of a high speed run out of here, except for the part onto the road. The airbox is that way. Oh, how do we go here? Just floor. We barely made it out of that trail. The car's barely running anymore. And Nash is gonna film one last mud hole here. Hopefully it runs good enough to get to it. I'm not sure we're even gonna make it home, to be honest. Yeah, we just drive down the side here. Yeah, it, ooh, yeah. Four way flashers. I don't want to, I don't like to do things on the side of the road when I can avoid it. Preserve our battery now. There's your four ways in there, by the way. Well, what's that? Not your four ways. Oh. <laughs> Park fight. Don't like it on fire. I got two fire extinguishers, Sean. We're well prepared for a fire. Okay, all aboard. We gotta hustle before the fire drops. I think it's on fire. No. Well, do you see smoke? No, it just felt like it was on fire when we stopped. Four ways. Put my phone in my pocket. Okay. He's trying to bail. Well, we're putting out any fires to start and we're gonna let it burn down. Maybe a little, just for the YouTube trips. Make sure you film any fires that may occur or die. <laughs> I think it's the diffs. The diffs were. Sm I could smell gear oil when we were in that hole spinning. I smell lots of things. I couldn't really determine whether it was gear oil or not. Oh, that sounds real loud. That's only three grand. 
sounds like it's like got five or something. Fire extinguisher in case the car catches on fire. Oh, that's not going to happen, Sean. We're good. Go. We do have a check engine light that we didn't have on when we left. That's weird. If I put it flat to the floor, it floods out in box. Try it. Well, maybe not. Holy, where'd that come from? Too bad I never floored it when it was healthy to get the full effect of the 2.5 here. Hey, whenever you can make a round trip wheeling, it's a good day. Okay guys, you can see that tire's dead flat now. But the Forester did get us home. I've officially uh, broke my record for zip tie usage with this car. The bumper's zip tied to the fender as well. And uh, these lights are all zip tied in. Battery's zip tied in. Grill is zip tied in. These lights are all zip tied in. These lights are off an 89 Ford van. It's just what I had laying around just to make it legal, give it a blinky thing on the corner. This car was in quite a bad crash if you guys didn't conclude that. I don't think I mentioned that on video, but I figured it was kind of assumed just by looking at it. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching Matt's Garage. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have yourself a great day.